Hello! Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today's video is a bit different. I finished, a, well I didn't actually finish an assignment. I had progressed on an assignment for two hours today. I don't want to do any more so let's unwind by doing some quizzes. The way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna look at multiple fandom quizzes that I am in which will be Captive Prince, The Folk of the Air trilogy, well, <laughs> what other fandoms am I in? Oh, all for the game. I have almost finished that. The fence comics. We'll see if there's any sort of quizzes that exist for that. Let's jump right into it. So we're starting off with this Captive Prince quiz. I will leave all the links for the quizzes down below for you guys to also check out. Choose an ideal holiday to relax on. There are many other places I'd like to go, but outside of that, I'm gonna go to the Alps. Just cause. What's your clothing brand of choice? Are we being realistic here with these questions or is this like if you could wear any branding choice what would you choose? Like are we going for realistic expectations here or this can be whatever the hell I want it to be? You know what? We'll go Adidas. Basic bitch move but Adidas. How well do you deal with drama? <laughs> I thought it said how well do you deal with Damon? <laughs> He's the king, I deal with him very well. I'm sure Laurent does too. <laughs> Drama is stupid, just sit down and talk. I am more inclined to choose this. I'm not even gonna read the rest. <laughs> I don't like drama at all. <laughs> Have you ever cried in front of your friends? Nope. I'll say I don't trust anyone to see me cry because I don't like crying in front of people. What would you do if you were confronted with a lie you told? This is a Captive Prince quiz. I need to think about this in the context of like something's gonna take my life if I don't lie. So if I'm trying to save myself from the lie being told, what would I do? <laughs> In a perfect world, I would apologize and explain myself, but if my life's at stake, probably tell her to fuck off in all honesty. <laughs> well, I told it it was for a good reason. I'd try and find out who ratted on me and work from there. That probably sounds like a good point of action, but maybe I'll try and twist the narrative. Again, my life's at stake. I'll twist the narrative as much as I need to. How would your friends describe you? I would say pragmatic. What questions do people ask you the most often? Are you okay? You look tired. What did you learn from your greatest failure? Success and failure are like a chessboard. You need a few to get anywhere. Actually, that's a really good one. That's very relevant to my life. <laughs> Choose a cloth. Silk, cotton, flannel, velvet, chiffon, denim, cashmere, linen. Honestly, linen. I need to breathe out in this Aussie summer. Pick a bad girls club quote. I haven't seen bad girls club. I don't know what where this is from. But anyway, nothing can phase me because everything you do to me, I'm going to do back to you 20 times worse. I will say the last one. What's your love language? Quality time. I like to know I'm valued. True, I like that. Actually, I remember, I'm pretty sure there's like a love language quiz. And I think my one was quality time. I definitely don't like the physical touch. <laughs> Pick a Spotify genre of music. Quiet storm, deep big room, deep tropical house, compositional ambient, melancholia, bubblegum pop, ninja, Texas play. Probably bubblegum pop. I'd rather it be classical, but we can't choose. Big an aesthetic, cottagecore, vaporwave, dark academia, minimalist, soft girl, vintage, skater baddie. I feel like dark academia is probably the mm, cottagecore is. You can subgenre that into dark academia, cottagecore, but anyway. Let's just go dark academia. Actually, no, cottagecore. Cottagecore is way more chill. Pick a texture. That looks like ice. I'll pick that. Pick a dance mom's quote. Everyone's replaceable. <laughs> That's so mean. What quote am I most drawn to? A lot of these are horrible. I'll say I don't wake up this way. Before I look at it, the last time I think I did this quiz, it was a while ago, and I got Erasmus, which I was not happy with. But let's see if I get him today. <laughs> Wow, this is a first. <laughs> You're probably a Slytherin and a Scorpio. I am a Scorpio, but I'm not a Slytherin. I'm a Hufflepuff. But I've had friends tell me that I'm more of a hybrid Hufflepuff with Slytherin in me. You're whip smart, gorgeous, command a room, and know it. Let's face it, the demons of your past seem easier to face when you're committing verbal genocide. <laughs> That is a perfect way to describe like one of Laurent's attributes is that he commits verbal genocide. I will only be verbally abused by one person and let that be Laurent. <laughs> 
to whoever is in the room. You've got a few trust issues, but you melt to the f first sign of real affection. Yeah, I love me them himbo hearts. <laughs> Not that Damon's a himbo. I'd say he's like the golden retriever with the heart of gold. He's smart, but he's not like a full-on himbo. Anyway, it's okay. You're okay. Have a rest. You probably need it. It says I was 29% Laurent, 19% Damon, 15% Nikkei's. I would have loved to have had Nikkei's. 13% Jord, 8% Aim... Aim Rack. I don't think that's how you spell it, but 6% Nick Andros, 4% Ansel, 2% Mackinac. Should I be happy that I'm Laurent? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> that's our first quiz. We'll do the Goodreads series quiz, so it's like if you remember certain details about all three books. True or false, Laurent and Damianos are allies! <laughs> no. <laughs> that could not be further from the truth. Who is Damon really? Nobody. Prince of Veer, Damianos, Gleon. Damianos. True or false, Laurent knew who Damon was the entire time. True. Who said the following quote? I'd wager you never thought a prince could be jealous of a slave. At this moment, I'd trade places with you in a heartbeat. It's, what's his face? V. No, T. Torveld. Does Damon kiss Laurent first or does Laurent kiss Damon first? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it'd be Damon. The Laurent, I am your slave. Is Damon a king? If so, which country? Achielos. Which Akiel enslaved does Torbert keep as a pet? Erasmus! <laughs> Who kills Castor? Laurent kills Castor. True or false, Damon would have liked to have courted Laurent six years ago, knowing what he knew now, instead of making an enemy of him and killing August. <laughs> he literally says that, or he thinks that, yes. Would you like to go back and check your answers? Submit. 9 out of 10 correct! What did I get? Why am I going to Facebook? What did I get wrong? What did I <laughs> see correct answers? Correct answers are marked in green. What did I get wrong? Uh oh. What? D did we get the question who is the Prince of Via? Or did I misread that question? What? I don't remember getting that question. I thought it was who was Damon. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh well. But let's try an all for the game quiz, because naturally that is what we progress from. I hope there's no spoilers in this, but because I am, I literally only have like this much left of uh, the final book, but pick an early 2000s TV show. Gossip Girl. She's a British YouTuber. Who did I follow? I followed none of these people. I followed Zoella, but I never really watched her content, so... I'll just go Dan and Phil. I just remember Dan and Phil being iconic. Which Halsey lyric makes you want to slam your skull into a brick wall? You're ripped at every edge, but you're a masterpiece. Isn't that from Colors? I like this one, because I'm pretty sure it's from Colors, and I loved Colors back when I was 15. Which of these characters from The Raven Cycle do you- oh. I, have, I haven't read The Raven Cycle. What's the one that I hear about the most? Actually, no, we'll say what's The Raven Cycle, because can't cheat. Pick an aesthetic. French braids, wire frame, glasses, brown tail necks and tweed blazers, books, thrown askew, messy literature papers, breaking to a footman, library, murder. That sounds like the secret history. I mean, only because there's turtlenecks. I like turtlenecks. Which of these school subjects did you like best? English. I don't even need to... English. Well, I actually, it would be Japanese, but there's no Japanese. Okay, which of these songs slaps the hardest? Sweater weather, 3 a.m. Talia, which wish you were sober. I have no taste. Sorry, strawberries and cigarettes. Okay, sweater weather. Let's see. Who am I? I'm either Neil or I'm Renee. Aaron. I don't want to be Aaron. He's boring. Oh, uh, it says I am so sorry. Can I at least be Andrew? <laughs> Minus the trauma, but. Oh, that makes me sad. Well, under that, I would have had Andrew. Oh, who's Ronan Lynch? I heard about a character who was introduced in the very last game, and I'm assuming that must be Ronan Lynch, but damn. <laughs> Looks like I'm nowhere near Neil. Sadness. Because I am very unhappy with that, let's do another Awful the Game quiz, because I will not live with that. <laughs> Which Awful the Game character are you? We can't all be Neil Justin. Let's start. What's your favourite colour? Pink. What's your favourite quote? Fight because you don't know how to die quietly. Is your learning curve a horizontal line? I remember that. <laughs> 
Some of the strongest people I've known are women. I remember that line too. I believe that's from Nikki. Yeah, it's from Nikki. Which I also love Nikki. Nikki's one of my favourites. I'm a bad person trying very hard to be a good person. I'm going to be the deadliest piece on the board. That doesn't mean I wouldn't play. <laughs> ah, I love that line. It came so out of nowhere for Andrew. Uh, what's your favourite quote? Yeah, <laughs> that one. Favourite member of the Raven? I don't know the Ravens! The who? What XE position do you think you would- Okay. I would be a goalie. Goalkeeper. <laughs> How do you feel about Aaron Minyard? I don't give a shit about Aaron. <laughs> I mean, he's okay, but like, he's, he's definitely not like- He just- <sighs> Stubborn. Mind you, the twins are a bit stubborn, so that makes sense. I don't hate him, but- Was that the right answer? <laughs> Pick a historical figure, Oscar Wilde, Queen Victoria, Michelle Obama, Alexander Hamilton, or Julius Caesar, Emmeline, whoever that is. Oscar Wilde. Calculating results. Better not be him. Alison. That's the rich girl. Whose boyfriend died. You do not give a shit. Literally, you are so full of power. Do whatever you want. You can do anything. You could probably knock me out. <laughs> but you don't want to mess up or new coat of nail varnish. Your new coat of nail. I can't speak. I am much happier with that. I'd rather be Alison. Just erase the fact that I got Aaron. Oh. The Folk of the Air trilogy. Of course, I have not read the Folk of the Air trilogy in a very long time and I need to reread it. The novel. Let's see. I only want to be Jude or the bomb or maybe even Carden to an extent. <laughs> Let's start. Let's start. It's been a long time. What's your favorite subject in school? Astronomy charms, defense against the dark arts, herbology, potions, transfiguration, divination. Okay, I'm gonna act like I know what all those big words are. <laughs> mm. Well, let's think that we're in Elfheim, hypothetically. What's gonna, like, save us from fairy anger and treachery? Probably, it's in defense against the dark art, but you can't guarantee that all fairies have dark art, so potions. Choose a sword. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. How will you die? Betrayed by a trusted confidant, poisoned, old age, drowned in battle. I'm gonna say old age, ideally. Pick a poison. Mushrooms, because that looks more aesthetically pleasing. What's your code name? The Knight, the Shadow, the Dreamer, the Lion, the Fury, the Dreamer. Because I dream a lot. Daydream, that is. <laughs> What's your weakness? Pride, greed, lust, envy, sloth, wrath, or gluttony. I'd say wrath. What do you desire most? Power, acceptance, love, wealth, knowledge. Acceptance. Well, is this going to get too deep? Acceptance. Um, let's see. Bitch! No. No, I am not that dumb. I am not that dumb bitch, Sharon. <laughs> oh, no. People may think you're shy, but you have secrets of your own. You have your own desires and will go after them no matter what it takes. I don't want to be Taryn. She's sad and stupid. <laughs> Let's ignore that. Epic reads. Ooh. What percent of Jude and Taryn are you? What's your Hogwarts house? I am Hufflepuff. Which mortal food is your favourite? That's a hard one. That's a really hard one. I'm gonna go with the basic staple of chips. Who was your least favourite? Valerian, Locke, Nicasia. I always used to say her name was Nicasia. Anyway. Carden. Valerian was on some violent shit. He just was persistent with that. He's like, I just want to kill her. Can I kill her, please? I want to kill her. I really enjoyed that Jude ended up killing him and burying him in... I don't know if it was her own backyard or something. I hate Locke, really. Locke, you stingy, stingy boy. Which alignment do you identify with? Lawful good, lawful neutral, lawful evil, neutral good. Probably lawful neutral. Choose a weapon. Dagger, twin swords, influence, poison, quick thinking, duplicity. 
Honestly, duplicity makes me more interesting. <laughs> Which would you rather? Be a mortal trapped in fairyland, be a fairy trapped in the mortal lands? Hmm, good question. Being a fairy trapped in the mortal lands would be a lot like enchanted, but then being a mortal in fairyland would be terrifying and amazing. Oh, you can show off all your powers in mortal land. <laughs> So I guess I'll go Mortal Land. Choose a YA adaptation. All the boys I loved before. That was great. I love that. Choose another YA series. Amber in the Ashes. That used to be my all time favorite book. Still is one of my favorites, but. Bitch, I don't want to be 63% Taryn. Ugh. First Aaron, now Taryn. Those two words rhyme. You're more of a Taryn, but you can't help yourself from reacting to things in the moment. I keep my anger bottled down. I really, really disagree with that. <laughs> Your temper might sometimes get the better of you and have a bit of a stubborn streak, but all in all, you prefer to stay low-key and underestimated. I kind of agree, kind of disagree, but damn it. I'm a Taryn. <sighs> Are there any other quizzes that I could do? That's all that really is present in my mind right now. Well, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. I don't want to get more disappointed. <laughs> But let me know what you guys get. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will, again, I will link everything down below. But yeah, expect some more random fandom content because I just like doing chill videos as well because I can't, I can't read fast and I am trying to graduate uni and that balance is just not, <laughs> it's just not, not quite there yet. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video.